Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Cornelius Camp of CorneliusCamp.com, school counselor by day, real estate agent by night. Before we go any further, I want you to hit the subscribe button and become a subscriber to my channel. My channel consists of any and everything real estate related from real estate resources, of uh, books about lead generation, um, strategies around social media, uh, marketing campaigns, advertising and so forth. I talk about real estate trends, different real estate markets, mostly here in Chicago where I hang my license. And then I give a ball off of uh, real estate experiences from my experience um, as well as other top brokers here in the city. Um, so in case you guys are going through a situation and you're not quite sure how to handle it, you might be new to the real estate business, maybe some of the wisdom that I have that I've developed from my experience in general or just from talking with other people um, about the particular situation might be able to help you out. So that's what my channel consists of. Make sure you become a subscriber, all right? Um, so today I'm going to start um, sort of like a little series about social media and um, I, I made a video earlier and I discussed how social media can help you uh, help your real estate business and I talked about the different avenues the different platforms and so forth but I mentioned that my favorite platforms that I use um, are uh, Facebook LinkedIn and Instagram and so I'm just gonna do kind of a quick series on um, all three of them I'm gonna focus on a video on each three um, and how they benefit me in my business and how they can help you with your business um, so today um, like I mentioned I am going to start off with my favorite which is Instagram um, Instagram is uh, strictly about pictures I like Instagram because I'm a visual person I learn better uh, through visual um, and I just enjoy uh, seeing things versus reading things out in a in a text um, you know nothing against Twitter or anything like that but you know trying to put a message in 140 characters or maybe they've upped it right now um, you know that's something um, that I just I don't benefit from it it's nothing against it again I have a Twitter account um, so I'm constantly tweeting stuff out but it's not something that I just I benefit from it myself um, but I enjoy Instagram I enjoy it a lot um, I think you can take a picture and you can motivate someone you can um, get inspired to go out and you know make those 25 to 50 cold calls that you need to make you can go out and get ideas about um, different uh, platforms like Hootsuite um, that you know you can use to kind of set up your social media calendar and most importantly you can use that platform to post uh, pics of different properties that you are seeing or different properties that you uh, know of that you're selling you can post pics of your open house if you make a sale and you're at the closing post a pic of you and your clients um, you know at the closing congratulatory holding the keys holding a bottle of champagne a celebratory gift whatever it is and make sure you display that show your 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 business show off um, you know how successful you are and that's what I enjoy about Instagram um, you can even use the uh, story feature and use it to tell a story it's, it's very very quick um, but you know it's still a, 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 a an effective uh, method that you can use to reach the public um, real estate whenever you're trying to sell real estate it is really 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 all about you know pictures um, especially in today's online world a lot of people um, are shopping online before they go and see things in person and if you want to get people through the door at your open house or through the door you know your first week on the market with a listing you got to have some phenomenal pictures because that's going to catch people's attention it's going to make it pop and it's going to say okay this can't be real i've got to see this in person and once you get a person in the door or in your particular condo or listing whatever it makes it a little bit more easier to try to reach them it makes it a little bit more comfortable they may see something else that they like they may see the neighborhood that they like um you know as they're driving up to the particular place um, so that's what, what i enjoy about instagram now 
the way you want to use Instagram to help grow your business is one, you can have all the pictures in the world. They can be beautiful, they can be luxurious, they can be relaxing, whatever it is. If you don't have any followers, who are you reaching? Okay, the whole purpose in this is to reach a mass amount of people. You want to display, you want to use this as marketing basically. And if you are not reaching anyone, how does anyone know that you have that listing? How does anyone know that you're a real estate agent? Um, so you have to build up your followers. And one tactic that I use as far as building up my followers is that I follow other people. <laughs> Plain and simple. Um, I follow the people in turn hoping that they'll follow me back. Um, I like a lot of posts that I see. Um, especially if you know I actually do like it and then a lot of times if I see certain things like for instance I saw um, uh, what was it oh it was a picture of a puppy um, like a bulldog or something like that and having two dogs of my own I've become a dog lover so to speak so instead of just liking that picture you know I left a comment wow is this your puppy that's a cute dog so forth blah 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 let them know be genuine about it and you know you never know that may connect you and the person who actually posted that picture um in turn that post that person whose picture that you just commented on they might live in the city that you're in and then therefore you guys might end up forming a, a relationship you never know um i had one person who i was following or who was following me rather and um, i don't know this person um you know i i, I forget exactly what we had in common but uh, but again she was a follower of mine and i'm uh, constantly posting uh real estate tips real estate picks real estate um you know listings that i have um, i'm promoting my etsy store on real estate i mean uh, on instagram so i do a lot of posting real estate related well she and her family uh were moving i believe it was from phoenix and they were moving to chicago and lo and behold, they didn't know anyone in Chicago, so therefore they called me to help them uh, find a rental. Um, after they find that rental, if my service is, is good, which it normally is, um, who knows? They may contact me again uh, when they decide to buy. So just like that, you have a client, okay? You have a sale, you have a closed deal, all right? Um, so that's how you can do it. You got to follow people. You got to follow people. You got to like people. You got to comment on people. And in turn, you have to invite people to follow you, okay? Normally, if you follow someone, courtesy, they'll probably end up following you, especially if your feed is, um, um, if your feed is, 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 looks good, okay? Um, it's very uh, attractive, that's the word I'm looking for. So that's how you would tend to do it. Now, the way you start looking for other people to follow is you use the hashtag. Everyone knows what a hashtag is. If you don't, it's just the little tic-tac-toe symbol, the number symbol, and then whatever word that you're looking for at the end of that. So for me, being in real estate, a lot of mine is hashtag real estate, hashtag realtor, hashtag Chicago. Um, so, you know, you get people that post pictures of St. Patrick's Day. We just had that. That's really, really big here. So you get a lot of people who are posting about St. Patrick's Day. Like it, comment. They're going to say, hmm, who's this guy? Oh, he's a realtor in Chicago. Wow, that's a nice condo. Oh, that's in the neighborhood that I live in. Boom, let me like him. Let me follow him. So therefore, when I decide to move, I can contact him or see what he has or see what's on the market through him. Okay, you see how that works? Uh, so that's how you do it. When you are making a post um, on Instagram, you can use hashtags to be found as well. So for me, like if I have a listing or an open house coming up and I want to reach a lot of people, I want to make sure that it gets known out there. People who are not even my followers, people just in general that might not be following me yet. And I want them to understand what exactly is going on. So I'm going to use a hashtag in my comments because if you use it in the description box, it kind of looks like spam. It looks a little sloppy. So you want that to be uh, very nice and very readable and so forth. So use it in the comments because sometimes or all the time, the comments are usually hidden. So it doesn't look like spam so much. But you can use those hashtags and you can use up to 30. Okay, so it'll be hashtag Chicago, hashtag 2018, hashtag architect, hashtag condo, hashtag villa, hashtag realtor, hashtag real estate, and so forth and so on and so on. Um, so that's how you get found. So you have all of those hashtags 
your picture is going to be related to that particular hashtag so that increases your chances of being found by someone who's just randomly looking for real estate here in Chicago okay so that is concluding of my videos just a little quick tutorial um, about Instagram it's my favorite platform of social media um, check out my Instagram page it's CC Realty um, you know see uh, the post that I have leave a comment let me know what you think about it um, again, if you um, need to check me out on any of my other social media, my contacts are in the description box below. You can click on the link. It'll send you right to my page. Um, you know, I love for you to be a follower. I, in turn, I'll probably follow you right back. Um, yeah, so um, check it out. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was productive for you and very informative. Um, if you, uh, again, like I mentioned, are not a subscriber, Please go ahead and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about it. Let me know if you got any questions about Instagram. And uh, make sure you like the video and make sure you share it. And like always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for listening. You guys are great. Have a wonderful day. Take care and be safe.